Still on the TSL and it's been another extraordinary year of footy. As we count down the days to the grand final, we take a trip down memory lane reflecting on the big issues that made news in 2017. This is the season that was. Coaching was the talk of the pre-season. Tom Couch, the son of late Brownlow medalist Paul, signing on to lead North Launceston. I'm here now, I'm really looking forward to jumping straight into it and learning as much about it as quickly as I can. Tigers also had a new leader. Scott Matheson replaced Adam Henley, but was sacked just a week before round one without coaching again. We felt we were going backwards with the playing group, so we wanted to nip that in the butter. Development League coach Aaron Vince stepped in at the 11th hour. We've got to realise we play a game of footy in 10 days, so we can't kind of uh, try and reinvent the wheel in, in that respect. Troubles too for Glenorchy. The reigning Premier lost a number of first choice players to interstate clubs. But former AFL listed players Josh McGuinness, Josh Watts and Zach Webster returned to the competition, as did Sam Lonigan, following his 12 month suspension for his role in Essendon's 2012 supplement saga. Four years is a long time so for something to drag on. It was revealed this year's grand final would enter the twilight zone, as the 2017 season was launched in style at the home of the reigning Premier. Glenorchy played the first game of 2017 against Hobart City a few days later. Footy's back, isn't it? Devonport coach Mitch Thorpe was injured against Launceston in round one as the Tigers defeated Burnie for the first time in their history. It came as a new tactic reared its head in North Launceston's win over Lauderdale. I think they, they've got mixed up with what a bumper bar is actually meant to do. Jay Bowden went on a round two rampage, slotting 11 goals against Devonport as Lauderdale stunned the competition, losing its opening three games. In May, Glenorchy lost its first match at KG5 since 2014 and it had a snowball effect, the club going on to drop three in a row at home. Melbourne AFL defender Colin Garland was a guest coach for North Launceston for its Round 9 clash with Clarence. Anthony Taylor was named state coach and Braden Webb captain. But the map suffered another loss, this time to the Neeful by 17 points. It was a busy season for the MRP and Tribunal. Jay Bowden survived this incident against Burnie as suspension cost Lauderdale's Thor Boscott a place in Tasmania's rep match. Fellow bomber Jordan Roberts was rubbed out for six weeks following this spear tackle on Launceston's Stuart Williams. I think the footy community um, really dodged a bullet with that tackle. While Clarence trainer Randall Castle was sidelined for one following a half-time blow-up with bomber Jay Lockhart. More recently, on a career total of 14 weeks suspension, Rue Jack Gleeson avoided deregistration after successfully overturning an MRP ban at the tribunal. Umpires were also in the news. Veteran Mark Tuckett was assaulted on a night out in Hobart. Jay Bowden celebrated his 200th TSL match in round 20 and picked up the media's Player of the Year award soon after. But it was a tragic end of the season. Devonport youngster Ethan Stevenson was placed on life support following a serious head injury. Post-season, Kane Richter became the first major retiree. Ian Callanan also bowing out following a stunning career. Thorpe shocked the football community by stepping down as Devonport coach. I mean, my decision to leave the club is not it's a personal decision and no other. As Clarence Young and James Holmes was awarded the competition's rising star. Blunston Arena's playing surface came under fire following week one of finals. Yeah, well, we certainly won't want to play on that ground again if the, if the middle of the ground's like that. You know, maybe he needs to you know, toughen up a bit. Glenorchy's premiership defence came to an end at the hands of Launceston, with Clarence exiting the final series in straight sets the following week. Lauderdale ended the Blues' dream run in the prelim final, leaving the competition's two bombers to battle it out for the TSL's 2017 premiership this weekend. What a ripping season it's been.